Hey guys, good morning and welcome to today's video on Hawaiian Knife and Gear. Coming to you today back at the beautiful airfield here on the windward side of Oahu. There's nobody flying any planes here this morning, so hopefully it'll be quiet enough to make a video. Wanted to show you two new budget knives that I just got. These are two Doom Blades. And if you saw my video on the last Doom Blade, I was pretty impressed with it, so I did decide to get a couple others and check them out, see what I thought. So, first one that I got, this is the SQ0021 Black. And the other one is the JJ001 Black. I'll start with this guy. Since I got this one first, and this is definitely my preference out of the two, if you're going to compare them side by side. This one has really nice, snappy action to it. Nice and strong on the, on the deploy. I really like the clip point blade to it. Came very sharp right out of the box. I really like the stonewash finish that they've done on these guys. Kind of a black stonewash. And this one has good, good weight to it. It feels really good in hand. They did a good job on the G10 scales. They're nice and smooth. There's no sharp edges, no hot spots on it. it has this nice, strong, spoon-shaped clip to it. It's got a good amount of tension, so it goes in and out of your pocket very easily. I'd say the only thing I really don't care for on this one is the orange backspacer, which didn't actually show in the photos when I ordered it, but, you know, for the price I paid for $18, I can kind of overlook that, I guess. The rest of the knife is really nice. It does open and close very easily. The liner lock up here sticks up enough that you can hit it with your thumb. You can see this one has a little bit more than 50% lock up. So I would say this is a pretty strong knife overall. It would handle some some use and abuse. This one does not have any weight relief in the liner so it is a, a little bit heavier than the other one which I prefer. So I'll give you some dimensions on this guy real quick. Overall this one comes in a little over seven and three quarters. Handle is about four and a quarter total size. And your grip area is um, maybe three and a half. So you get a nice full grip on it. Feels good in your hand. Blade on this guy is just over three inches on the cutting edge. Has a nice sharpening choil to it. I think the flipper tab is, is a nice size. It makes for a nice spot for your, your finger here to get locked in. Don't feel like you're going to lose control of this one if you're really doing any strong cutting with it. Just feels good in your hand. Flipper tab has no jimping on it, but it is comfortable. Opens and closes really nice, so definitely like this one. So, looking at the next one, I've got to say I was not nearly as impressed with this one when I got it. The detent is a lot weaker on this guy. It doesn't open nearly as, as fast. It just kind of feels a little, a little weak to me. You could probably tighten it up a little bit if you took it apart and bent the frame over a little bit on it. But out of the two, this one definitely is is the uh, the cheaper feeling one. The liners on this are skeletonized, so the weight is. A little bit less on this guy and then if you look at them side by side you can see the difference in blade stock here this one just a, a lot beefier knife so I'll give you a weight comparison on them this guy is 4.77 ounces versus this one at 3.9 ounces. So dimensions are about the same overall. They're they're pretty close in size. This might be a little bit bigger. 
but I just I don't think they did as nice of a job on the fit and finish on this one. The edges on the G10 are a little bit a little bit sharper. It doesn't completely line up everywhere with the liners, so just not as nice of a knife. For 17 bucks, it's still very nice, just not as nice as this one. So not really complaining. I mean, I, I definitely like to check them out and see what I think, but comparing them side by side, this one is definitely going to be the nicer of the two. But again, it came very sharp out of the box. It's got a nice flat grind to it. Nice swedge all the way down the top of the blade. It's fairly comfortable in hand. I mean, the clip on it, the end of this clip is a little bit sharper, so you know, if you're really, really using it, you can see it would dig in right here at your palm. So I would say it's just okay. It's not not great, not my favorite one by them so far, but that's why I bring in different ones and see what I think. Check them out. But that's what I've got today. Those are my two newest Doom Blade knives. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate you checking out today's video, and I hope to see you at the next one. Thanks.